president or has the White House heard from our allies, NATO allies, about the expectation or desire for any unilateral American troops to go to that region? Well, the announcement was made, as you know, Peter, to be a part of a NATO force, right? And so all of these consultations that have ha been happening over the last several days with our European partners and NATO partners has been about that. 8,500 service members, troops who are uh, at the ready. Uh, and the decision about whether they would be deployed uh, would be made in coordination with our NATO partners and allies, including any additional discussions or requests outside of that. I would point you to the Pentagon. I don't have anything to assess so, for you. There's no, to, to the best of your knowledge right now, that's the President's intention to work exclusively via NATO to not send any troops unilaterally in any form. Well, again, we're working through NATO to plus up support in our eastern flank countries. That is what NATO is there for, and we're committed to uh, the sanctity of that alliance. Uh, just to be clear, there is no intention or interest or desire by the president to send troops to Ukraine. NATO is a forum to support our eastern flank partners and countries, and that's what the focus has been on. And given the